Uh, man in action there, and Shelley is here right now. Not your real name, presumably. Not my real name, a stage name. Stage name. Real name? My real name is Jason Beck, um, but, but I'm you, an you entertainer. Thought, but you thought you were an entertainer, and sure. Jason Beck sounds like an accountant or something. Um, well, I think Chili Gonzalez is, it contains just the amount of ridiculousness, uh, but perhaps a bit of intrigue in it. It sounds to me like a, like a, a comic supervillain, and I always thought of myself on stage as some sort of super-powered being. Right, a super-powered being. Well, that's a very good basis for a show, isn't it, in fact? And why, why the uh, bathrobe and the slippers? I suppose that and playing on an upright piano is also to show people that I'm, I'm trying to take this idea of the virtuoso pianist away from the pedestal, away from the idea of being a bit condescending. Um, I think a lot of people, when they go see classical music and jazz, it's hard to find a way in. It's hard to make that music entertaining. And the performers, unfortunately, um, they're hiding behind, I think, uh, a defensive posture of saying, this is good for you, this is important music. I don't think that works. I think people need to feel engaged in it. So I'm trying to take those old skills of classical music and jazz and that musical knowledge, so lacking in my generation, and bring them into the, the world of entertainment that we live in, for better or for worse, you know? And part of that is telegraphing to people a character, a persona. And that involves the bathrobe and the slippers and the fact that I am a self-proclaimed musical genius. Mm -hmm. All of that is to, to let people know that we are in 2012 and, and classical music and jazz music and, and those great art forms, they don't have to die. They can how, be updated successfully. And, and how, did, uh, how did you get into breaking Guinness Book of Records records? 27 hours, was it? 27 hours, yeah. I, I think there's a bit of competition missing from music. I, I came from a world called indie rock. It's a lot of people playing the guitar and, frankly, not being very ambitious. It seems like they're just happy to kind of coast on this idea of being the, the accidental artist. I don't like this idea. I think we need to be entertainers. I think we need to take it away from this ivory tower. And, and so I think, you know, I think the, the barrier to break a Guinness World Record was just a way of having competition with myself because, frankly, I don't have a lot of people around me I can be in competition with, and I want to be made better. I want challenges. I want to better myself. And why, after 27 hours, why did you stop? Did you just fall asleep, or you were knackered? Why, did, why didn't you go on for another hour? Because I'd broken the record. Because you'd broken the record. I had so broken that the record. Did it. Of yeah. course, of course. You do what you have to do to get ahead. And now someone comes along and they do 28, 29 hours, if they do, you will go for the new record of 30, yeah? Uh, I'm not sure about that, to be honest. Ah, I'm not sure about that. You're not that sure you want to do 30 hours? Uh, I'm not sure I want to um, start a cycle in which, <laughs> in, in which all of a sudden I'm having to break my own record. Um, perhaps I can think of another record to break. Maybe the shortest concert ever. Maybe I just did it. Yeah, yeah that was it. Yeah. That was it, yes. <laughs> or the shortest text in the Bible and all, and all of those things. Jesus so. wept, sure. And so how much... When you get up there on stage, how much do you want them to be admiring the music and how much of the time do you want them to be laughing? Great question, because I think the laughter, Brian Wilson from the Beach Boys always said that his humorous lyrics and certain ridiculous things he would say on stage were just there to get people emotionally open. I think laughter gets the nervous system open to yeah. receive the real payload, which is my musical knowledge and the harmony and the melancholy that music can, can bring. So. One is there to open for the other. The laughter is there to let the musical information seep in on a deeper level. Um, the music is more important, and the laughter is there to facilitate it. And you've written things that have become hits, like in, in advertising and so on. What was it? Uh, never Stop. Well, that's right, used in the iPad commercial. That's right, right yeah. That, that's rewarding, too, presumably. Well, it's very rewarding mostly because... Financially, I mean. Financially, of course, absolutely. But yeah. most important, I think, you know, over a billion people probably heard that piece of music over the year that ad was on. It was in China, it was during the Oscars, the Super Bowl. It's, you know, um, and that is, that is the whole point, is to have my musical message out there. Whether or not people know it's me is a different story, but it's incredibly satisfying to, and, you know, the point where even my parents started to get annoyed. Like, I'm hearing your piece of music again on the TV, I wish it would stop, you know? Yeah, yeah. And of yeah. course, it never stops. So how would, if... At the end of your life, which hopefully is many, many years away, and so on, um, and they're doing the tombstone, and here lies Shelley Gonzalez, comma, comedian, musician, composer, 
wacky. No, too long, too long. There's one word that it contains all of that, David. It's entertainer. And entertainer. It's, that's an entertainer that's is a good is, summary. It, an entertainer, a great entertainer, is a composer, is a businessman, is a marketing genius. It contains all of that. That's what I love about entertainer. It's it's the complete package that takes into account being financially ambitious, artistically ambitious, most of all that you respect the audience enough to really work your ass off your whole life and they know that you're spending every waking minute trying to make their experience better mm -hmm. so that they're not wasting their time coming to see you in concert and but and can can you uh, perform your ass off more than once because once you've performed it off I suppose you can't do it again I have a unlimited supply of asses <laughs> excellent news that's a great relief for all your fans all around the world thank you Shirley for being thank with you us so much, today David. Shirley Gonzalez